And how did his zebra look? Along with any color choice. I chose really the color it can be any color you want it to be. So first, you're gonna wanna take a sponge brush and any white eyeshadow. And just apply that all over this lid. Next you're only going to take just any white glitter and dip the same brush in it again and just apply it all over the white base for a more shimmery look. Also to add some depth to your whitening. Awesome. So now we just got plain white. Now you're going to want to wet your fingers or any tool you use and straighten up the sides. Next you're going to take a flat brush and dip it in some blue. The top. This is the hardest part of doing your whole eye. The zebra print. Just thin stripes isn't enough. You have to actually try to make it look like zebra stripes. I've only done this look like once or twice. Just take a brush and some black cream makeup. Make sure it's a really thin eyeliner brush. I've moved some of the bristles away so it's thinner. Okay, so after you've done that, check out your zebra print. I would take my eyeliner brush that I use every day and kind of go over it to blend. Take your black cream makeup. Line away. Take a black pencil and line your waterline. I would take a little bit of the white and dab. Curl and add mascara. And don't forget the bottom lashes. Now a finishing touch I always like to add is the eyebrow. On this one, let's say square them off, color them in, and extend them to the blue line. Because you want to be, make them be kind of wild like your zebra. Last, last touches, add a hot pink blush. and add to your lips. This is all you have to do to get the wild zebra look. But I gotta go now. Bye!